writer slash middle school English teacher takes his friend out to wine country for his bachelor party. And while he's there, he has some life-changing experiences. Now, when you describe the plot of this movie, it sounds super boring and lame and like, whatever. But the fact that these characters are so well realized, so human, and that there's so many different ways in which they're relatable, that makes this movie great. Alexander Payne just knows how to take these movie characters and break them down in ways that make them feel very real. Paul Giamatti as Miles is this lonely, sad, but very uptight person. You first see Miles and you look at the way he talks, the way he behaves, what he's into, you think, oh, he's just some stuck-up white guy, whatever. You think you understand him, but he's way more complicated than that. He has these deep, dark emotions. Paul Giamatti portrays Miles in a way that makes us understand that he's not stuck up. He acts that way because he's socially cautious. And even though Miles does some really bad things, you're still with him because Paul Giamatti just portrays his character in a way that's so relatable. He just wants to have a nice little vacation with his stupid friend, and he can't because his friend is just pulling him into this journey of self-discovery. He's struggling through life, and he finds this woman, finally, who understands him, he's able to actually have conversations with and relate to. Find out that throughout the past two years of his life, he's been dealing with a lot. He had a divorce. He had a death in the family. And I just can't stress enough how great Paul Giamatti is at portraying this pain that Miles is feeling. He's so unhappy, and you completely understand why he would be so unhappy, and you empathize with him, and you feel for him. He's such an unusual protagonist, but he's so relatable, you just can't help but root for him. Thomas Hayden Church plays Miles' friend Jack, who's getting married in a week, and he's just this... You know, he's a dude bro, basically. He's basically just the opposite of Miles. He's big, he's dumb, he's an actor, he's outgoing, he's confident, he does what he feels. And he's a dick. First thing on his mind as soon as he gets to this wine country is that he just wants to go and cheat on his fiance. But even though he is this awful person, he's still a good friend to Miles. He's still very supportive of Miles' creative passions and pursuits. The movie does a great job of showing you how they became friends and why their relationship is the way it is. It's important to understand that without Jack's scumbag motivations and actions, Miles would not have ever met the woman of his dreams. And Thomas Hayden Church does a great job of making Jack feel like a human being, make him feel real, make you somewhat understand his disgusting motivations. But even with all of his disgusting and horrible actions, he still has a good outlook on life. Miles' outlook on life made him sad and lonely. Here's Jack, and he's just out having fun, he's enjoying himself. And Thomas Hayden Church has great comedic timing, there are so many jokes that just use Jack so perfectly. Jack really is just this perfect antithesis to Miles. Thomas Hayden Church does an excellent job at portraying this complicated, not complicated character. Virginia Madsen plays Maya, who is this wonderful, cool girl who likes wine and is into everything that Miles is into. Miles already knows her, and he's like, yeah, she's great, she's awesome. But Jack has kind of pushed Miles to go, hey, come on, talk to her some more, maybe go the extra mile. And as Maya opens up about herself more and more, you can see Miles fall more and more in love with her. And Virginia Madsen does a great job of giving Maya these layers. She's more than just the love interest for a man. She's her own character and she has her own problems. She's going to college. She had a divorce. She's got all these other things that make her her own person. And so your understanding of her feelings for Miles are just as clear as your understanding of Miles' feelings for her. Alexander Payne is so great with dialogue. He knows how to make conversations about wine interesting. And it's because he makes it so that those conversations aren't really about the wine. It's about people finding each other. It's about human beings finding common ground and building relationships off of that common ground. 
It's not about what's happening on the surface. It's about these people, what they're doing with their lives, this emotional journey that they're on. This is a great story about loneliness and sadness and finding someone new, moving on. It's about what you do once you become a loser. It's about dealing with it. It's about fighting this feeling of negativity. And it's a wonderful, inspirational story. I'm going to give Sideways an A+.